Welcome back both you dungeon masters and dwellers alike. Casual DM here, still with the casual duelist play, Matt, still with the wonderful wife Celestial here. Say hello. Hey! And again, we're trying to do some spell jammers openings because number one, I already have the books, so I've got the booze astral menagerie. Um I've got the other two books to go with it as well. Uh, one thing I wanted to share with you guys, because we could not get over how large the one figure was. Uh, what was he called again? A Braxit? Yeah. Um, if you guys are patient, I will get to the page and we will go ahead and show off the book. Uh, just, a, just a little bit. Just a little bit. And uh, we were just so enthralled with like how large the character figure was. But according to this... Um, and forgive the glare due to the lighting down here. Um, they're a huge giant, which is, yeah, we, we kind of figured that one out. Uh, but he's only a challenge rating nine. And I, I honestly thought he'd have been a little bit higher up the food chain being as tall as he was. And again, I love that they have their illustration where they have the Braxit facing what looks to be just a regular medieval D and D guy. So, again, kind of a one-sided combat on that page. Mm -hmm. Now, that's, that all said, <clears throat> we have two more boxes each today. Um, and it will co uh, culminate in our full eight. I'm going to kind of zoom out just a peek. This way, it's everything that's basically on the mat. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, I still, did you want to roll again? Yep. Or do you just want to pick? I'm going to roll again. Okay. Are we rolling high or low? Uh, highest. Okay, cool. I got a three. Yeah. Floor rolls don't count. Please roll it on screen. Okay, you cannot roll a two every time. <laughs> you you choose a different die every time. I have, I know. I'll tell you what, just go first. Just okay, go first. fine. You can't have that bad of luck. At least you don't roll like that on the table. Thank goodness, right? Yeah, otherwise, you know, Serena, she would just not make it. She would not make it very far at all. She would not. Or Suthra. Oh, my <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, my stars. Okay, would you like me to untie this bad boy while you do the smalls again? Yeah. Okay. Kay. So you're just literally going to pull every large... He's not as heavy as the last guy either. No, he was not. Okay. And he's got four arms. So. Alright. This guy is a red gar. Aw, oh, dude, I love it. So. He's got the whole fishbowl helmet thing going on. Or maybe that's a spell. I don't know. That could be a spell effect to uh, be used similar as. Yeah. Oh, this is the guy that was literally on the page before. Right. This is the brog. So. Right. I'll have to fix his spear later, but that's that's cool. He's ready for you when you're when you're okay. ready for him. All right, we got somebody named Zodar. Oh, these are like armors and stuff. They're they're in the so. book too, towards the back. Mm -hmm. um, I'll be the nerd with the book. You be the nerd with the figures. Of course. Please don't roll your eyes at me so loud. They'll hear it. <laughs> Uh, medium aberrations, typically neutral. Armor class 20, which is kind of nuts. Challenge, how is this guy a challenge rating 16 and the big boy was only a 9? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, so. I'm not totally mad. I'm just confused. Okay. Here's my other figure. Oh, that's cute. That's nice and small. It's a ch uh, Chihuanga. Okay. So... I it's like it. It's interesting. I'm sorry, I'm looking up the brog now. Okay. So. Because cause that's my new. Yep. All right. And then the last figure, guys, that came out of my box was Mr. Biggie. And, and slowly go around. This way they get the full impact that this guy is Goro. Was it Goro from uh, Mortal Kombat that had four arms? Yeah, I believe so. Is this Goro with a spear and a boulder? Yeah. Or Machamp. It could be Machamp. Um, it could also be... Um, oh, he was the leader of the Giants, actually, in the uh, Seven Deadly Sins before uh, anybody else took oh, over. Oh, yeah, 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 because he's with the uh, Ten Commandments there, isn't he? Yes, he is. 
This guy, believe it or not, only a challenge rating six. Wow. So if the six and nine got together, <laughs> the little suit of armor is still tougher. Oh my gosh. Nope, that's all I wanted to see. So, all right, well. Okay. Casual, it's your turn. Very nice, very nice. And I will go ahead and get my box mostly prepped off screen. Oh, oh, oh. we got a giant bed bug. Ew. What do you mean, ew? Look at him. A bed bug, you call. Okay, that sounded terrible, but uh, Umber Hulk. Mm. So that's cool. Probably going to be something that you're going to find in the uh, the dark. Uh, again, since I've got this in my hands, I don't have the book in my hands. <laughs> but uh, a great way if you guys are just getting the figures to get the figures. And then you want to find a way to work them in. Again, maybe this is just like a one of in your world. Sort of just happened to be there. And uh, I'd either put him somewhere where he's, again, you know enslaved by somebody else like he's like he's a worker for like the big bad or maybe he's just trying to like be on his own in a cave somewhere right like but i love it i love the way that they fade in the colors um whoever's in charge of paint with uh with all of this is like you definitely keep your job please mm -hmm. um your paint jobs are way better than mine um I'm I'm afraid I'm not gonna get my floof. Um, okay, we got this this looking thing. It reminds me of a blight. It is a blight. It is an astral blight. Boy. <laughs> um, I feel like that was lazy. Mm -hmm. Um, but it, it kind of reminds me of like a mix of the vine blights and the twig blights. Mm -hmm. Um, because the thorns tend to again have like a thorny exterior. But again, you can see the like the level of detail. They used like a dark wash to get to all the uh, the definition between the different types of sinew, mm -hmm. and uh, it's still a really good looking figurine. Right. And you could absolutely mix it in with other blights that you already have. Mm -hmm. ah. I know it looks like a tiefling. I was gonna say it's got a pink tail, so I I thought it was pink. I saw the horns first. Oh, I thought it was a space rat. Like, oh no. It was so, pink. looks like we have a tiefling. I would venture to guess from the chest it's a female. Mm -hmm. I don't want to assume the figure's gender. I, I I make that joke tongue in cheek, but like for real, I don't. I don't know. I would assume yes, mm -hmm. but maybe not. But again, I like it, and since it's generic enough, this could absolutely be used as a player character for somebody interested in playing a tiefling. Which is very cool. Mm -hmm. And they're going to call it Captain Fells. So this is going to be a unique character within the storylines. Um, which makes it really cool. Cool. Um, I'm going to guess a squirrel just walked by. Because I just heard Layla get up by the window and growl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and last up from this set, we've got a swashbuckler of some sort. Uh, just got like a, like a pin-up 1940s type haircut. Mm -hmm. Kind of digging it. Uh, looks as like those might be awards or something going on. Um, not so sure that I like the, the rest of the color scheme here. Um, we got like the little pirate rag hat. Um, kind of cool anyway. And this is going to be Captain Elena Sartell. Mm. So again, we got two like prominent captains in this pack. So that's pretty cool. It's your move. All right. You're smiling. Is it another big one? Oh, it's a biggie. <laughs> is it another? It's another Is it guy. another Braxit? It is. Do I have to undo him right now? No. Okay. So, but everybody Oh my can goodness. See. We got another Rhino of Doom. But remember, remember guys, Zoldar here, fraction of the size, like twice the power scaling. Just yeah. saying. So, move him up. Yeah, yeah, me. let's... Okay. I'm going to put him on the floor so he doesn't ah. shake the table. All right. Is that another murder comet, too? It is another murder comet. I'm still seeing Frost Miser, Snow Miser, whatever he was called. Uh, You're just a little above. I there you go. Uh, I, believe I think it was Snow Miser. Snow Miser. 
So yeah, I'm I'm just hearing that old Christmas t jingle in my head right now. That's all. Okay. So okay, we got a, we got a second one of those. We've is got that an empty that, chair. It is. It's the Space Jammer helm. So if you're in your spaceship, this is the seat your captain would sit in. <laughs> so it's not even like there's a like a ghost in the ship or something. No, they just gave us just a chair. A chair. We've got a chair. Okay, so we got we got a giant murder rhino. We have a literal murder comet. And we got a lazy boy from space. And then another penguin. penguin. Okay, I love it. You know, that's fine. <laughs> and you know what? Since we have two, if uh, you'd like me to work it into the campaign that you somehow get your hands on a space penguin as you're familiar, we can talk later. Okay. We can discuss that later. And again, right. guys, that's how you do it. If there's something you guys want, always ask the DM. And remember, they're bribable. We can be bribed with food. We can be bribed with drinks. Um, fresh set of dice, you know, something. Yeah. Something. Oh, da, 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 da. We got a rock. I feel like Charlie Brown. I got a rock. I'm thinking it might be more like a meteor. Well, let's take a... Oh, jeezy, Pete. <laughs> oh, it's a crack rock. It's a crack rock. Look at, look at the face oh on this God. thing. He's got the bulging eyeball. Wow. It's it's going red. He's got, like, the murder lips. Um, we are the eye monger. Okay. Again, very, very hard to read it through the camera due to the glare of our shop light for lighting. Uh, but oh my goodness. So if you guys ever wanted to face a meteor, um, then there you go. And I'm wondering, I'm wondering if he's almost like a type of beholder. Mm -hmm. I know he's in the books, so I'm going to be reading later again. And you guys seen I had the book, so it's, it's not that big of a deal. Mm -hmm. Um, we got another one of the, uh, the monkey guys, little space monkeys. Um, this one almost uh, staging up like he's going to be like a monk. He seems to be using his uh, cloak to his advantage to like throw off his body size and shape. The way that he's holding his sword around the back seems a little weird. But you know what? If he's a monk, his fists are actually his primary deal. And mm -hmm. uh, let's see. He is a Hadozi fighter. Mm -hmm. So not a monk, but close enough, really. Mm -hmm. uh, and Hadozi being the species for our space monkeys and again i love that they all get like these epic beards because of their lineage and uh i gotta just admit you know i'm a little jelly pants i'm a mm -hmm. little little lady marmalade over here about it yeah. because i think personally um uh, a beard would be awesome i think i got a lazy boy as well okay mm -hmm. so we got we got two lazy boys um i'm not sure why you would need a space jamming helm um, but if you guys are building like a ship, if you guys are building um, like a dungeon print for it, or maybe one that's supposed to be like a physical with props in, oh. this would be really cool. Okay. Um, and I'm probably going to give this to my one friend that we do play with because his thing is he likes to he likes pirates and everything. And I can only see him getting excited about having his own little captain's chair. Mm -hmm. So that's probably going to be a thing. I'm probably just going to give him that. And uh, looks like we may have gotten one of the plasmoids because it looks clear. It looks like it. Oh, it is a plasmoid. It is the plasmoid. Oh. And these guys are really cool because they're basically like, I forget which one of the Ben 10 aliens this reminds me of. Almost like that. the ghost one, but without being the ghost one. Yeah. Um, or what's that other Pokemon? Mm. Uh, Reuniclus is like the jelly baby looking thing. Yes. So again, they're they're pretty cool. Um, I love that they give him like a little duffel pack. He's got a sword up there. He's got like a little hand axe here. Um, and again, if you like get real close, you can sort of see like the markings that go in and around. Very cool looking figurine. It is just called generically plasmoid. So, again, if you were going to use this as, like, a player character, you just absolutely could. Let me put my hand back there again. Um, you absolutely could just use this for a player character. And I don't think it was the Booze Menagerie. I think it was one of the other two books that actually gives you, like, the stat blocks for using them. Mm -hmm. So, that was it, right? Yep. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So, no space hamster, which is fine. No jellyfish. And, mm -hmm. yeah, no floof. 
Okay. However, the flumph may not be as a desirable thing. So what I might do is I might just go online and see about just buying one to have it. Mm-hmm. Um, this is a set that I probably would continue buying as a DM because, like, the character designs are just crazy, okay? I mean, again, like the Umber Hulk, this this does not need to be just in a Spelljammer setting. Um, but it's good that the Spelljammers gives us, like, the whole stat block and everything else. But again, the more that you play, um, the more that you're just able to quickly make those types of deals. Um, again, with the eye monger, um, he's like insanely dense. Like I cannot overstate that here. Mm-hmm. Celestial just, uh, yeah, like that's dense. That is dense. but nice. that, That's almost the weight of like a cue ball, mm-hmm. um, for those of you who play pool. Um, but it, it's just great because again, like we can have this character. I didn't mean for you to put him off, off uh, screen. Mm-hmm. Um, we could use him in the space of like a beholder. Or maybe he could be like something that a beholder hits you with as far as like illusions. Um, And again, like if you were to, as as me as a player, if I were to see this and be like, yeah, so Macaroni Doodah does his little Jolder Boulder Rolder spell. um, uh, And this appears. My character is probably going to want to get out of there. Yeah. Because insight's probably the last thing I'm going to think about because the intimidation factor, like a passive intimidation factor of a giant rock with an eyeball and big old teeth is probably enough to get me to want my character out of there. Right, exactly. And then like this guy. <laughs> he's he's like classic D and D. He just happens to be in space. And like again, like how do you not love to, to just have one of these as a big boss monster. Now, the only thing I even sort of had an issue with is, like, he doesn't have two sets of pecs. Yeah. And unfortunately, if you were going to have more than one set of arms, you would have, like, two extra sets of pecs. Mm-hmm. But it does seem like they gave him extra shoulder blades and, and the extra back muscles. Right. So, like, that's just me personally being a little, like, picky but like it's fantasy it's all good yeah he's he's huge he's big i don't know what this is this might be extra from the uh the mold casting um so we might just go ahead with a little warm soap water and ease that off of there yeah um but if not whatever it's it's fine it's it's a premium figurine to be sure um so there's tons of ways for you guys to work these into your campaigns and Again, even if you just collect them because maybe you want to have like a pirate captain group of players, um, being able to pull into this and the other pirate captain, and then we had the uh, the Petra looking uh, space elf, astral elf. Sorry, mm-hmm. um, last time we did an opening, um, we would be able to sort of make a like a group of pirates. And you could almost go after the Celestial One Piece. So that could be fun. It's definitely something to look into, guys. And for now, um, I just want to let you know, like, if you enjoyed this, and I, we we really hope that you did, <laughs> because this didn't exactly this wasn't exactly cheap to do, but it was worth doing. Yep. Um, we would like you guys to show your support in the way of comments, likes, and possible subscriptions. Again, I will leave the buy me a coffee link down below. It is optional. Don't feel pressured to do it. But if you do do that, chances are you will get to see other uh, other types of openings in the future. And it will help us to go and find more things to create content with. Uh, books when they drop. Uh, getting the official casual DM mat instead of running with this B-boy. Um, so, yeah. A lot of things. It's going to get better as we keep going and growing. So till next session, my friends, have that wonderful day and may the crits come your way. See you later. Later.